Hey guys, my name is Raxby and welcome to Let's Play You. This is a puzzle adventure game made by Fiddlesticks Games and it has been winning several awards in the uh, developer community at conferences and such like that and I've been really excited to play it. It looks like a really cool, you know, puzzle adventure game and that's a genre of game that I highly enjoy myself and it's all about this monochrome world, this black and white world where color plays a huge part in solving the puzzles and everything like that. Uh, the game releases the 30th of August, so about a week from now uh, and it's gonna be around 15 euros. I'll put a Steam link in the description down below so if this game is something that you're interested in yourself you can check it out down there. But for now let's jump in and I'll give you guys my first impressions on uh, this game. Let's go! So, uh, you just get dropped off straight off into the game, no story exposition or anything, but, I mean, there are multiple games that do that, so that shouldn't be an issue. You get an envelope. Oh, I've had the most dreadful luck. I feel terrible that you've been left alone all this time. The traitorous Dr. Grey tried to steal the Anula Spectrum, a ring I developed to allow perception and alteration of color. Some call them impossible colors. <laughs> impossible for Dr. Gray, maybe. Anyway, something went wrong. I turned a strange shade and became invisible. The ring, it, it fractured, scattering colored shards far and wide. I stayed at home for many weeks, watching, waiting, existing on this colored plane. I couldn't speak to you, nor interact with anything in the mono world. So I left. I left for the university where I hid away the colored tools I had created. I pray you have found what is left of the ring. So that's how we're gonna get our story exposition. We're in this world and Dr. Gray apparently wants this ring that's developed that can create color. And uh, yeah, so far the gameplay is very smooth, like it uh, controls well. Of course, nothing too special happened yet, so we'll see if that keeps it up, but for now I'm uh, satisfied with it. I like the atmosphere too, like the visual style is very cool, I like these lines and everything, and I think it will get only better once they start introducing color in. The music is very atmospheric, but very very nice, I, I'm really liking that too. Oh, looks like it was all a dream. Huh, so now our little guy is a little bit different, we can climb down here. It kind of reminds me of um, of Game & Watch from uh, Super Smash Bros. and everything. Like, he's kind of similar like that, just being all black. I don't know. I like playing as Game & Watch. He's a cool character, and uh, this guy, he seems like a cool character too. I always like when games can uh, give characters a lot of personality in a way. So, uh, let's see if... Uh, Let's see if Fiddlesticks Games managed to give this guy personality without really making him talk too much. Okay, let's see. The fisherman caught a glimpse of something. Something unusual. Down past the lighthouse. Hmm. So down past the lighthouse. So that would be down over here. Oh, there's blue. We just got some blue. Some light blue. There we go. It's been added to our color wheel, I suppose. Ooh, and now blue has been entered. Oh yeah, that looks pretty cool. Since the beginning, we have pointed to the sky and declared it blue. It is this shared vision, this unquestioned understanding which connects us. But are you really seeing blue the same way I see it? Perhaps blue is nothing more than a shade of grey to you. Perhaps everyone in this world sees nothing but shades of grey. Don't you see, Hugh? This, this is why we're here. Hmm, interesting. Well, I'm definitely seeing blue. I don't know about you guys. Um, I don't quite know what we're supposed to do next now. Maybe we should talk with the fishermen again, or maybe we can go into some of those doors. Uh, let's see if you say anything new. Wow, the skies have cleared. What a beautiful day. Hmm, yeah, I suppose so. I guess we can- yeah, we can go in there. It doesn't give you the prompt anymore, but you can go in there. But except this is blocked off with green. Or some kind of lime green anyway. 
So I guess we would get more of that later. I don't think it's safe to jump in there. So let's uh, see if we can find a different door to enter and continue progressing a little bit more. I think this is where we live, right? Or was that a different... Yeah, okay, no, this is where we live. So we don't want to go in there, but we can go in here. I'm not sure if there's anything to do in here. Oh, well, we can exit out on the balcony and reach this. Okay. And jump. Oh, there's something up there. I don't think I can quite get that, though. Hmm. Well, that's a shame. Well, uh, let's see if we can get that later somehow. Ooh, and then there's magenta or pink. I should have really, like, made sure to actually know what colors are called. Because it can be, like, the basics I know, you know, and but generally I get some things mixed up at times. Like, oh, people, people say, like, oh, no, that's... That's like blue and I'm like, ah, it looks kind of greenish to me. And like, especially those tones that are like in between colors. Hello? You, is that you? Thank goodness I've been trapped for days. Help me get out of here. I keep hearing noises, it's screaming me out. Hmm. Oh, we can, we can kind of, okay. So let's see if we can switch. If we switch into this, oh yeah, everything turns blue. The rocks, they, they just disappeared. I don't know how you did it. Who cares? I'm saved. Thank you. So yeah, that's basically it. You can change your color wheel and change what color is active. And that's what the background will turn. And based on that, like say if we had yellow, then we could switch over to yellow now. And uh, the yellow bricks here below us would disappear but we don't have yellow at the moment so we can't do that we can go in here so let's uh just continue on okay right let's turn it blue and get the next letter when you enter a cave expecting a waterfall the chances are your expectations will be met but if you discard those expectations don't you think instead the cave will be full of surprises I ask for you, Hugh, to abandon your expectations. To pull me back from the brink of unreality. I need you to see the world not for what it is, but for what it can be. Ooh. That is a pretty nice lesson, you know? See the world for its potential and... Don't, you know, just take it for what it is, but see what you can make it become. Oh, hello there. You startled me. I'm just resting my legs. Don't play too close to the water now. Hmm, let's actually turn things blue here. I've heard there are caves through the waterfall. Apparently they stretch for miles. I would never go myself though. It's far too dangerous. Hmm, I think we will go. Let's jump across here. Now uh, we can't get up there. Firstly, you is not that great at jumping. Like, he jumps fine. Don't get me wrong. But, uh, he doesn't quite jump that high. And there's no, like, double jump or anything. Let's just keep going past these uh, caves. Oh, I, I bet we can get this. Yes, we can. Okay, let's pull this back here. And there we go. Cool. And I guess we're gonna... Hmm... Actually, let's pull this back. Uh, yes, and then from this side we can pull it. There we go. Is this high enough to jump? I guess it is. Okay, good. Hmm. Okay, we don't want to change it to blue because we'll get crushed. But if we do it here, we would also die. So what we want to do think is actually stand on this and then turn it blue and then jump that yeah there we go puzzle solving now we're getting to the interesting parts hmm okay there is that ladder up there of course oh yeah right okay so if we just jump all the way back over here and we could go in there um but actually, if we do this mid-jump, 
Oh. Can we not change it? Huh. I guess we can't change it back to not blue. The only thing we can do is change it to blue. Oh, no, that killed us. Okay, so what I was thinking was we can't make that jump, so we're gonna have to um, jump over them, but no, you just have to stand here, and then you're safe. I guess that makes a lot more sense than what I was trying to do. Ooh, okay, a lot of uh, rocks. So actually make sure we hide inside here. Bunch of rocks, okay. That's okay, we can now get past here. There is that ladder up there. I'm not sure how we reach that. I guess uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, we can't hide in there. So I guess this is gonna be a running experience. Nope. Oh, damn it. Okay, yeah, we do have to run. I got stuck on the ladder a little. Okay. I do like how quickly you respawn, meaning you don't really have to waste a lot of time. If you mess up, you know, it's pretty much instantly you get back and you get your next shot at solving the puzzle. Okay, this time let's actually climb on the ladder and wait for the rock to pass us. I'm not sure if there's anything down here that we want to see. Oh well, there is something here. A beaker. 1 out of 28. So that's gonna be a collectible. If it's an optional one, I'm not sure. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, we did get the first beaker of 28. So let's uh, make sure we keep an eye out for more of them. Let's see, we can climb up here and then get through this next door. Another monochrome room. Oh, hello. Who are you? Oh, you're gonna just walk away? Hmm. Welcome back here, buddy. Ooh, those are some very long, unnecessarily long circuits. And nice. We got purple. Get in purple. It's gonna go down the color wheel. Okay. So, let me check. One, two, three... Four, five, probably like eight colors, I'm guessing. Ooh, this looks very, very purple. Actually, I wonder if we could go back now and get some stuff that we couldn't before. I'm guessing that's possible. But I want to see, I want to test. No, that door actually went away. Oh no, actually, it is there if we change out back to blue. Oh, we can go back? Mm, yeah, let's actually go back Because I want to test To see what um, Other things we can find Because I know Hold on Actually um, We need to go back in here Um Oh. Oh damn it, we couldn't go through it in time. Okay, come on. Uh this should be doable, right? Oh because it defaults to it, it defaults to don't go back. So you can't make that. So we're gonna have to walk all the way back. Well that's a little bit annoying. I guess we'll just have to redo this puzzle until we can go back there. Okay, come on, just keep rolling. I'm gonna switch this to purple though. Because I, I, I saw some ladders that we just didn't reach yet. And I just wanna know, do they lead to secrets? Because I feel like they do. I feel like they'll lead us to more of those beakers. And I wanna see if I can uh, get some more of those beakers so let's go back this time and this time we can climb these rocks there we go and climb up this ladder yeah that's what I thought you can get beakers 
So I'm not sure if there were more, if we would go even further back. I'm not sure if I should try to. I'm not sure how I would anyway. Because it's kind of blocked off now. You know what? Let, let, let's just uh, continue on. Uh, I'll quickly get back to where we got the purple. Okay, let's continue on from here now. And actually head forward. Because we did go back for a little bit just to see what else we could find and that's fine and all i'm sure there are some beakers if we went even further back but eh i'm not worried about 100 percenting right now did you know hugh that purple is at the very end of the visible spectrum it's the hardest color for our eyes to distinguish now imagine a shade one step further than purple a color beyond what we can actually perceive we call these impossible colors and I fear that this, this is where I currently reside. If reality is rooted in our perception, and you cannot perceive me, do I even exist to you? I'm sure that I do. I mean, you're reading this letter, or, or at least I hope you are. I'm sorry, but existing in this strange state of impermanence does funny things to you, Hugh. It makes you question is real. Hmm. Interesting. It would be pretty neat if there were more colors than we could actually perceive. Although, if we can't perceive it, then there's not really a lot of value to it for us, I guess. Okay, so this is just take it slow, switch back and forth, so you can walk across. Simple puzzle to introduce us to, well, using two colors. Which uh, is definitely good, you know, you don't want to uh, rush your player. Actually, that's... Didn't mean to switch that. That was bad. That was my bad. Okay, so, yeah, basically, I like it when they do, you know, simple puzzle introduce you to your new concept of... Um, your new concept of using you know multiple colors or a new tool or whatever you have at your possession now and uh, then slowly but surely scale up the difficulty as you go along i definitely think that's a good way to teach oh that almost killed me oh hey okay so this is going to be clever but we're going to have to change mid jump and then change mid jump again and then there we go so yeah, yeah, it does require some action as well. Uh, we're probably going to have to switch over. Okay, so let's switch here. And we can step on this. And switch like that. Jump over here. I guess we can switch like this. Switch like this. Hmm. I guess this should work. Alright, okay. So let's switch back to purple. Can we jump that? No, we can't. But we can do that. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's make sure we jump first. There we go. Almost just jumped into a pit, and that would have been bad. Oh, hey, it's you again. Are you ever going to say something to me? No, you're just going to turn back and walk away again. Like the mysterious man wrapped in like a bunch of towels you are. But looks like we're about to get a new color. That's right. Here we are. We've got orange. My nation's color. And it slots in nicely there. Very, very nice. Ooh, very, very bright. But you know what? I think that's uh, pretty good as a starting uh, episode here. Um, I really enjoyed this game, you know? I'm really enjoying it so far. It it's definitely simple so far. I feel like it's going to get much more complicated once we get all the colors unlocked and you have to think about which one to switch to, etc, etc. That's going to be really, really cool. But yeah, so far I'm really enjoying it. Um, once again, you know, if you want to get it, there is a link to the Steam page down in the description below. Game releases the 30th of August, but you can add it to your Steam wishlist now, of course. It also releases for PS4 and Xbox One. So if you want to play it on console, that's a possibility too. Um, if you want to see more of my content, then you can subscribe to my channel down below. And while you are on there, 
leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Let me know what you think uh, of this video. And I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching.